Good morning and welcome to this morning reflection from Christ Church. My name is David Cansdown. The book of Psalms is perhaps the place in the Bible where the writers expose their true feelings more than anywhere else. We find joy and bitterness, generosity, anger, confidence and fear and more besides. The Psalms are good for us to read when we want to remind ourselves that God's people have always experienced the whole range of emotions. All human life is there, if you like. The current pandemic has not hit us all in the same way, but for most of us there's an underlying uncertainty and anxiety that is hard to keep at bay. The coming of the vaccine is already helping, but wouldn't it be a relief if we could just go into hibernation until the spring and then wake up to enjoy the freedoms we remember. Psalm 91 is one of several that talk about God being our refuge, our protection. This is how it starts. Anyone who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, the God in whom I trust. There's a small Northumbrian village we know where there is a peel tower. Built 600 years ago, it gave refuge when the border reavers came raiding, as they all too, too often did, and all too violently as well. Animals could always shelter at ground level, but the only way to the upper part of the tower is through a window high up the wall outside. When an attack was feared, the people could use a ladder to reach the window, to climb in, and then pull up the ladder behind them for safety. And God promises to be our refuge, our fortress. That tower gave protection to the people, but when the danger had passed, they could return to their homes, because that was where they lived. And in this psalm, the writer not only wants us to be confident that God will be our refuge in times of trouble. He also wants us to live under his protection the rest of the time when all is well, if you like. The two verses I read make this distinction. Verse 1. Whoever dwells in the shadow of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. That's dwelling. Verse 2. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, the God in whom I trust. We're encouraged to dwell, to live in God's shelter in normal times, as well as looking to him for refuge when life is hard and threatening. Dwelling in shelter is a long-term, ordinary life. Taking refuge is more for times of crisis. Of God offers us both and will not turn us away. Now, I'm sure this is not the only time we've thought along these lines in our morning reflections. And that's not surprising because we are in a time of personal and national crisis. Since the first lockdown, we probably each had times when we just became used to it and life seemed like a new normal. Tedious, yes, but not too bad. But many of us will also have had times when it really got us down and it became very hard. Perhaps that's when hibernation might seem a good idea. So those two opening verses of Psalm 91 again, you might like to look them up later. Whoever dwells in the shadow of the Most High will rest. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. And so let's pray. Loving God, we thank you that your promise is to us for shelter and refuge at all times. Help us to dwell in your loving protection and your nurture. Help us also to trust your assurance that we can come especially close to you for refuge and safety when life is hard. Calm our fears 
we pray, as we put our trust in you, and give us strength to face each day and each situation in your power, knowing that we are not alone. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. For our song this morning, I have chosen, Be Still, for the presence of the Lord, the Holy One, is here. <laughs> 